Oh, what are you doing all the way down here, friend? Hi. Hi. Greetings. I am Pontus, the finest oceanographer in all of Hydropolis. I know all there is to know about all things oceanic. Crikey. Oh, Clakey, you're not short on confidence, are you? And why would I be? I am a genius. So much so that I already know exactly why you've approached me. You wish to become my assistant, do you not? What? Your, your assistant? I, um... Alas, I receive countless applications such as yours. This being so, I must separate the wheat from the chaff. You must complete the challenges I set to you and prove yourself worthy of this prestigious role. Yeah. Challenge one. Find a venomous fish and bring it to me. Hang on, Boutman. What are you starting already? Mm. A poisonous fish? Now that really is a challenge. Do we have a poisonous fish? Okay. Should we just have a chat with him straight away? We've probably got one. Let's see what we got. Koi carp. Um, does it say anything about poison? Nothing about poison. Nothing about poison. No. Not sure. No, I don't think any of our fish that we currently have suffice, so we'll leave him there for now. Let's go and find ourselves another citizen to recruit. Then what we can do is we can have a quick run back to the old town, see if we can make a, uh, a new shipyard, which would be cool. Um, I think there is somebody, yeah, on the other side of this square. Who is it we're going to be recruiting? Oh, blonde hair, blue skin, not you. Damn it, dude. So close every time. Oh, uh, it's you. Oh, oh. But please, I, I must converse with you in private. Follow me, I beg of you. <laughs> Last, a place where we can speak in peace. I've heard the rumors concerning you, you see. I I've been hoping to meet with you for a while. The people of Hydropolis are singing your praises for all that you've done for them. And for my part, it's a relief to see so many smiling faces. Ah, uh, but I have neglected to introduce myself. I am Thaumas, and I, uh, well... I suppose you could say that I'm a sorcerer. Indeed, it is a subject related to my profession that I wish to speak to you about. I have a request to make, and you are the only one who can grant it. I wish to free Hydropolis and seek sanctuary in your kingdom. Perfect, mate. Ever since the edict forbidding romance was lifted, I have been surrounded by love-struck women. It is having a terrible effect on my work. And all I ask is to be able to perform my sorcery in peace. Please. Allow me to join in your kingdom. I'm sure you won't be f able to find a use for my magical skills. You're in, buddy. Nice. Got a mage's ring out of it as well. What a heartthrob. Although, I've got to be honest, I think the ladies over in uh, the Heartlands are probably going to be just as smitten. Right, anybody else left over here that we can go and get? Oh, there's some down by the dock. Tell you what, before the dock, let's go for that one that's all the way down in the, um, down in the southwest. Hello, champ. Huh? Yeah? How exceptionally beautiful. The glint in your eyes. It's asking the most precious of jewels. It tells me you want to live happily forever. <laughs> I don't know where I was getting happily from. A happy, fulfilling life surrounded by dear friends and close allies. I must confess the to the feeling rather envious. I, on the other hand, have no one. I was once in love, indeed. I once gave a ring to my beloved. Alas, she did not treasure it. No, she, uh... She sold it. Since then, I've focused... <laughs> He's just enjoying being in the water. Look at him. Proper tidy man. It's like a huge bubble bath, isn't it? Hey, Ollie. No, Evan even. Sorry, Evan, lad. I get it mixed up sometimes. Beautifully fairly liquid. Since then, I've focused only on my work. Concentrating upon every mi uh, minute detail of the, of the stone's helps... Uh, to prevent my pain in my broken heart. Okay. Broken heart man. Look at this gift hawk in the mouth and accept his offer. He's coming with. All right, we've got three prisms as well. Good job. Thank you very much. Thanks, mate. Only feels slightly bad for him. Right, let's have a look then. Uh, we need to teleport across to the other harbour. <laughs> let's go there real quick. By our boat, there is a man. Dare he join us? Excuse me. Are you all right? You seem worried about something. Ah, indeed I am. Terribly worried, in fact. I've committed a terrible transgression. I, I was caught fishing out of bounds. Huh? What's that mean exactly? It means he went fishing where he wasn't supposed to. Of course it does. Well, you should have known better, innit? I expect, uh, I expect, you, what? I expect you're for it now, man. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. It was an accident, I promise. An accident, nothing more. My hand slipped and I dropped my line into the ocean by accident. That was all. 
but a mean lucky merwoman has been pursuing me ever since. Crikey! Crikey! They must have spotted you with that eye thing or something! There's a lucky... So... I am desperate to explain myself, but she's terrifying. Could you perhaps speak with her and maybe, like, let her know it was merely an unfortunate accident? You promised never to do it again? Of course! I simply just wish to put this awful episode behind me. That's all. Alright. We're in his debt. As long as we can go and do it. She's over by the other harbour. We'll go have a chin wagon ammo. An anti-freeze pendant as well. Alright, cool. Quickly add that as our main quest. And then we're going to go and have a quick chat. Over here. Alright. Oh wait, you're the kid that wanted to know about the... um. What was it? What was it you really liked doing before? That was it, hunting. That's the one. Can I learn how to help out? Give me the chance I'll become a great hunter. Cool. He didn't really have much to say. Philippos! Cool job. Right, so, where is this guy? Go to the Nort's Harbour and find the mer person who's been following the fisherman around. Okay. Oh, I think you might have given us a description of the mer woman, but... I guess there's not going to be that many around here, are there? No, not you. Clearly it can't be you, can it? Because you. you're for the other quest. You're all about them octopuses. Let me see if it's you around here. Ah, but this is it. Where has he gone? Why must he insist on continuing to run from me? Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Would you mind if we had a quick word? Hmm. Fine. But I must warn you that I'm not presently in the best mood. Whatever it is you have to say, I would advise you keep it short. Uh... Uh, all right, well, um, so someone asked me to explain an unfortunate incident. You see, his hand slipped and the line went into the water accidentally. He didn't mean to go fishing where he wasn't supposed to. Forgive me, but I do not understand. A fisherman wishes to explain himself to me? Yes, he's very keen for you to know that he didn't mean to go fishing out of bounds. Huh? Ah, n now I think I understand. You can tell your friend not to worry. I'm no palace guard or fisheries enforcer. I think there's been an unfortunate misunderstanding. What? R really? <laughs> I do not condone what he did, of course, but the fishing restrictions are in place for a reason. But if he says it was an accident, I believe him. Now, not that it's any of my business either way. My concern was not with where he fished, but what he fished with. I oh, I didn't see what that said. Something about his hook. Such beautiful objects should not be wasted on fish. I wish to ask him where he buys his gear, so that I might purchase two hooks to wear his earrings. Oh, she's all about that bling. All right, let's go ask him where he bought the hooks from then. Ah, there you are. Well, did you find her? Did you explain my situation? Mm -hmm. I did find her. Turns out it was all just a big misunderstanding. You see, she found your fishing line and really liked the hook that you were using. So she wanted to ask where you got it from so she could buy them for earrings. <laughs> By the gods! My hook? Why, I make all my hooks myself. And she wants to wear them as accessories, you say? My, my. <laughs> so, it's your handiwork, was it? I never would have guessed, man. I mean, I'd have said you were a bit clumsy sort, but to be honest, what with everything we've heard so far? <laughs> oh, I have an, uh, I've had an interest in intricate handicraft. Though it is rare indeed for my work to be praised, it really is. Well, it's a rather curious sensation. Anyway, the important thing is she's not angry at all. Why don't you go and speak to her? Sounds as though you might have plenty to talk about. S speak to her? T to to an, uh, admire her? Oh no, <laughs> no such thing is impossible. Oh, flippin' egg man, pull yourself together, in it? A girl says she likes your work, and you are just gonna hide here by ear until she goes away with it? N no, no, I, uh, <laughs> of course, I, I must speak with her. I never met anyone who cares for the items I produce. This is a golden opportunity. This may change my life. <laughs> I wouldn't get your hopes too high just yet. You haven't even met her. <laughs> too right, man. The rest of your life starts here. Yes, this is an excellent idea. I shall make her a pair of earrings. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Now you best get cracking, haven't you? She's not going to hang around here waiting forever. Don't get the poor man carried away, Lofty. I'm not sure he's ready for all. Please, do not censor your little friend. He is my best interest at heart, I'm sure of it. Now, in order to craft a pair of earrings for my new admirer, you're going to need some materials. All right, let's go and get them then. Come on then. Plain old text, but for some earrings. You need golden nuggets. Jesus Christ, dude. Luckily, we got three or three. There you go. 
Just the right amount. <laughs> ah, my three golden nuggets. These are perfect. With these, I can make it an earrings of her dreams. Good job. Right. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I insist that you be the first to see them when they're completed. After all, you were instrumental in their production. I'll take no more than ten hours or so. What the? Ten hours? You must be having a flipping laugh, man. You think we got nothing better to do than stand around by ear with you bang some bits of metal together for ten flipping hours? Hey. Please, I beg of you. Take a seat and wait for me to finish. The results will be worth it, I assure you. Ah. Oh. Oh, uh, it's you. Oh. The sentimental music's kicking in. Oh. What? Uh, how did this... I mean, wh what are you... Uh, <laughs> I asked this boy to deliver you a message, but I received no response. After a while, I grew tired of waiting. How did I find you? Why, I simply followed the boy, of course. As you know, I have a habit of following people. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to say that and giggle. That makes you seem weird. Well, Evan, she's taking matters into her own hands. Looks like our work here is done, huh? Mm. All right, let's leave them to it. Is it going to be worth three golden nuggets, though? Don't know if it is, to be completely honest. But I guess we got some XP out of it. Right, let's have a look at our quest, then. What do we have remaining? At this point, I don't know which ones we'll get as a person and which ones are just random. Uh, we have the scary winkles now. We could always go deliver those. Um, show Henny the mushroom that matches her description. So I think I edited this out in the last episode. Basically, um, Henny the teacher wants to teach the kids of uh, Evermore which mushrooms are good and bad so that they can begin foraging for food for us all. Um, so we start off by showing her a poisonous one, which was a toadstool. And I can't remember what the new description was of the type of mushrooms she wanted to see, but I sort of going to go back to her every sort of every basically every time I go back to Evermore, we'll pop over to her if we happen to have the mushroom. Great, but I'm not going to waste my time seeking it out. Um, right, here we go. Show Pontus the item he's challenging to find. So that was a poisonous fish, wasn't it? Uh, visit the witch on Macronos. I guess we can do that, and then go and talk to Hansel in the forest of Neil. Mm. Let's go to the forest of Neil then, I guess. Oh, actually, no, no, I'll tell you what. Seeing as we're over this part of the world, let's jump on our boat. We'll pop over to Macronos and see if we can get to this witch or not. All right. All right, let's set sail. All aboard! So which way was Macronos from here? I want to say Macronos was part of this little cluster of islands, wasn't it? Or was it further this way? I think it might have been this way. I tell you what, let me, um, let me get the quest equipped. Hold up. Let me back that one up a little bit. Uh, quests. Where was it? Career cut short. That's what we want. Set as main quest. Oh, there you go. All right. So somewhere over by here, there's a little doozy to be had. Let's make sure we get plenty of fights in along the way as well. Come here, Mr. Wyvern. Level 34. I do wonder how close we are to the end of the game. Because in the last game, uh, like, basically be completable. By the time we had something like, oh my god, that move. I keep forgetting how good that move is. <laughs> um, yeah, by the end of the last game, we only need to be like level 50 or so, didn't we? So I'm wondering how much more we need to actually do. Right, let me grab all the stuff from the boat. There you go. Yeah, it's definitely... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we've gone the wrong way. Yeah, maybe back across is this way, then. Hold on a minute. Let me look at the world map. Oh, yeah, so it is. Now, do we have to go to the coast on the... Can we go to the coast on this end, or will we need to actually go around to the southern side and figure it out from there? Like, if we try to coast up here, that's not going to work, is it? No. Okay, right. We're going to have to go all the way to the southern border. There were like level 40 something enemies there, and what level are we? 33. Oh, jeez. Maybe that's not worth our time to share. Oh, you want to fight? Come on then. Let's have ya. Just gonna go for the big moves from the start. What blade is at 100 right now? Go on them, and let's go for it. Nice. Oh, take out the wyverns real quick. Pull up a sharpish lad. Oh, we might want to take down that healer before she does much else. Oh, no, that's right. Roland got her. <laughs> Completely destroyed her. Victory! Ba -na -ba -bam -bam. We should probably look into upgrading our Higgledy soon as well, to be fair. We haven't done that in quite some time. Right. Let's see how far across Macronos this is going to take us. So we can deal with these guys on the coastline. Let's start by jumping up to here. Oh, we've even got a fast traveler here as well. Nice. There we go. Maybe it was only one or two of the enemies with that high level. If we just fight our way through. We might be okay. Fun little challenge for the day. Conquer Macronos. Although I guess the witch might be pretty strong as well. Right, tell you what, let me jump up to here, get you down to start with. 
Oh, I tell you what, that's a Charfinch. That's one of the ones that was on Leafbook, wasn't it? There we go. I'm going to deal with him real quick. And then, as soon as he's done, get the healer behind me. There you go. Uh, what are we going to go for this one? Tell you what. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. No, I'm going to waste it. I was considering using the uh, the little, like, square move there. It's not even worth it. Another enemy down. More XP. Go and get it. Uh, oh, grab the Gilders. Thank you. Right. Ah, yeah, look. So, instantly, level 37. I mean, we could try and just leg it past all of these. Although, some of them aren't level 37. It seems to be really vary between low 30s and high 30s. It's fine. We'll just roll with it, see what happens. All right, here we go then. And look at that move. Monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. That's the whole field gone in basically one move. <laughs> That's mad. Obviously, Roland and Tani are doing additional damage, but for the most part, everyone is just wrecking. One hit wonders. Tell you what, actually. Let's fight this Grim, uh, Grim Chiller over here. There you go. Ooh, there's a tainted monster over there as well. All right, let's see if we can do the same performance. You ready for this? So I'm going to go across this way a little bit. And, oh, I'll tell you what, actually. Oh, missed him. Let me shoot him real quick. You need more convincing to come down? No? All right. Sod it. Just deal with some of these real quick. There you go. Nice. Up in the air. That's it. Get him down and finish him off. Cool. They don't deal well with uh, melee damage, do they? The moment that happens, they're done for. And stop you from doing your thing. Tell you what, considering they were level 37, not really feeling the pinch too much. Oh, actually, maybe on him. Well, one move and he's gone. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be worried about high level ones then. They're fine. There you go, get rid of the healer and charge him up. And knock him down. Tell you what, Tarni's move was damn good. She hit the yellows left, right, and center. And another victory. Let me get all this dough. There you go. God, I hate those, like, water porks. They get me on edge, dude. Really on edge. Hello, Mr. Wyvern. Surprise! Oh. Not so surprised. <laughs> you heard us coming a mile off. All right. Ready for this. And... Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. Seeing as it's the, the, the puddles... Oh, you know what? Ignore me. We're not even going to need to uh, use a special ability on them. Come on, then. Oh, a cheeky git. Mm, I'll just stay on it like so. There you go. Nice. And ready for this? Get the ability midair. Slash him to death. Yeah, look at that. Easy peasy. Suddenly feeling like a bit of a ramp here. Felt like we were already against the wall for a little while, but I feel like we've come out on top. Guess that's what grinding will do for you. Right, now which way is it from here? I'm guessing, can we climb that bit there? Or is that too tall? Maybe if I go around this way. Oh, in fact, all of it is too tall. Ugh. Okay. All we're trying to get to is the, is the northwestern corner, so... Yeah, I don't really know where to go from there. I guess down this way? Hopefully it's not a dead end after this point. I'll figure it out, though. Right. Come on, then. Oh, there's one of the special ones. Okay, hold on. I'm going to focus on the special one. Ready for this? As soon as he tries to move. Oh, dude, missed him. Completely missed him. Oh, dude, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. As soon as he stands still, I'm going to get him. Come on, stand still, mate. You're not going to stand still once? Nothing? Come on. You're just not going to stand... Oh, dude, come on. There you go. Nice. Oh, uh, oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Nice. Oh, I almost had him. I almost had him. Let me charge up. And release. Do we get him? Oh, dude, come on. He's so close. He's going to vanish, isn't he? He's going to vanish. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I missed him. Just out of range. Okay, I'm just going to... There you go. Cool. Spammed R1. That seems to do the trick. Right. Back to the nor normal boring old fight. Finish you. Then you guys need some magic done on you. Fireball! Got it. 773. Ooh, special loot. What do we got? We got a watery sword. The watery Wolfram sword. Let's have a look on the old gear front. Picked up any new goodies recently? Uh, 92, 92, and 92. Seeing as that one has no extra abilities, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, it's lower than it anyway. So, am I to believe that the charge build is going to be better with the higher letter, right? So obviously like a B grade is going to be better than a D. I don't fully understand what the charge build means. Does that just mean if you press and hold it'll do more damage, I guess? Oh, is this a dead end? Oh, dude. How are you meant to get over there? So we've come all the way through here. Then it goes to a really tall reach. Oh, wait, are we supposed to go around? Uh, okay, hold on. Yeah, I think this must be it then. 
I guess that's not too bad. We're getting experience points either way. Ooh, the Shrine of Pining. Okay. Welcome to the Shrine of Pine. You will have a beautiful time. In here, there is a roof, so the sun, no shine. <laughs> Could I fancy you with a beverage? Maybe a slice of lime. You can sit back in this seat. Make sure you recline. Let me stand outside real quick. I'm going to save you for a second. So what is inside of here? A hall of monsters, followed by a save point. What are we to believe is going to happen here? See what plays out. And move. Oh, yeah, just about got out of the way. Let's try a new skill. You ready for Oh, I've not got enough. Oh, did I not equip it? Oh, I just said I was going to do that as well. You idiot. We'll have to wait till the next fight then. That's fine. There you go. Nice. Get rid of the old puddle of goo. There you go. And deal with the Grinchilla Pranger. What happened to the corner of them bangers? And uh, back it up. Right, where is he? There he is. Get ready to roast him. Get ready to roast him. Oh! Go on rolling with your little stun. All right. Tell you what. That ability gives as good as it takes. I like that. Loads of yellows there. Finish him off with regular old moves. Right. Hold up. Oh, I can't do it whilst I'm in battle. I wanted to equip that fire pyre. Sure, I did just do it. Oh, it was equipped. Wait. I could have sworn it looked like a fireball a moment ago. Okay, I'm being silly. Oh, that's what this is. Right, it's a dreamer's maze. God, I bet this one's high level, isn't it? You know what, though? For now, I don't want to go for it. I feel like I could probably do the dreamer maze as, like, on a live stream or something like that. Of course, I'll keep the footage, so if the boss fight ends up being something particularly special, then that'll be all good. But let's just have a little look around the rest of the place. Is this just a dead end room as well? Yeah, it would seem so. Nothing going on there. You can even consult the map, actually. And then there's another room at the exactly opposite here as well. Well, have a look at this, but failing that, we'll leave this place. Oh, Tainted Monster. Failing that, we can always make our way over to the witch. Let's see. What level are you going to be? That's one humongous room for one monster. Level 33. I reckon we could have you. Go on, then. Let's give you a try. We figured out the spells by now, so stay long distance. And you basically just roast them with fire. Maybe not fire. We can try water instead. Mm, about the same. That did what? So 483 or so. Tarni's really giving him a whoop him. Unless it's case of I can use this ability. Let me see real quick. So let me hit you a few more times. Yeah, okay. So that ability does loads. So that sort of wind slash electric type move is going to do tricks. Um, I tell you what. If I knock back some six sensors. There you go. Nice. And we'll get some zing up as well. Only problem is he's got such a broad roundhouse hit. There you go. Before he changes into his other status. Nice. Keep on top of him. Keep on top of him. Whatever blade I've got right now is doing wonders just then. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, and soar away it is. Uh, got then one for Tarni. Oh, two for Tarni apparently. Oops. And what else have we got? Fire pyre. Might as well just go for this move. Ah, see that time? Not so much. Oh, got them. Let's have ya. I don't know what to go for here, I've got to be completely honest. Um, let's try it this move. If that would actually land on anybody, that'd be great. Try again. Okay, yeah, now we're doing some serious dents in their, in their armor. Almost down with one of them. Almost down with one of them. Then multiplying again. Don't let them do it. And heal up. <laughs> there we go. And Roland as well. Oh, no, not quite what I was going for, mate. It's a bit of a waste of an item. Sod it. We used a lot. Uh, let's go for you guys. Fire pyre. Oh, I'll tell you what. That is some nice spread damage across the two of them. I'll take it. I'm just going to chain these abilities. Oh, dude, they're doing really big melee damage. We're good. Oh, I've got no crystals. Build them up, build them up, build them up, build them up, build them up. Come on, and... Big move. All right, move away. Oh, Evan's down. Oopsie. Okay, hold up, hold up. Ouchie. Jeez, dude. What have we got here? Um, we've got some zing. And we've got this thing to do. There we go. Not bad. And I reckon we can maybe use an angel tier. There you go. What about a sore away suite as well? Everyone gets some healing. To be honest, I've used more on this than I expected, but it's fine. There we go. Uh, oh, Evan. Where you at, buddy? Oh, ouchie. Need some crystals. I know it's a silly mistake standing so close, but still. 
Is that it? One more hit. There it goes. That's the only problem with this system. If you're not using items, it's a shame that you can't generate crystals from far away, but... I guess it's just the risk of it, isn't it? A drenched iceberg blaster. That has got to be something else, hasn't it? Hold on. I think that's our first purple text item. Actually, no, maybe one of Tarni's bows was purple. Yeah, the ogre one. But look at this. 200 damage. Why hadn't I even been using the fiery plunderbuss? I guess I didn't even realize I had it. Wow. You know what? Before we wrap up today's episode, I think it's a massive shame that we haven't even tried our new ally yet. So let's go to party. Let's swap out Leander for Tarni, I'm going to say. And we can give Leander a try. I'm going to take control of him. Let's make sure that he's got some decent equipment on him as well. Oh my god, yeah, speaking of spears, is that floating? Did they all float? Oh my god, he really is that magical. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, um, one thing that a lot of people have finally pointed out to me is that it's not actually a mage symbol on the, you know, in the army mode. Like, it's got the blue, red, and green. Obviously, green hammer, red sword. And it turns out it's like a spear or a lance in blue as opposed to a, a mage's one. So, my bad for not knowing that one. But um, good to know that I've finally been brought up to speed with it. Um, sure, let's go for soap proof, silk slippers... Mage ring might be good. What about the other rings? I'm sure we had some other good mage -y ones. No, maybe not, actually. Uh, drip guard pendant. Let's go for a buckler. There you are. And then what abilities have you got? Gorg. Actually, I don't even want to know. I just want to know what he has by default, just by experiencing it. You ready for this? All right, here we go, then. Tell you what. Tidy few hits there. Look at the way that the spear, like, spins and stuff. That's so cool. Oh, is that a uh, pork? Yeah, it's a level 40 pork. Got to be careful there. Don't get too close to him. Let's focus on the other enemies to start with. I just want to build up enough things so I can give one of my moves a try. Whoa, okay. Right, you know what, pork? You've asked for it. I'm going to use one of my abilities right now. Oh, not bad. What about a circle move? I don't know what that does. Not a clue. What about square move? Okay, regular old water ball. And then other than that, we've got this other cool-looking mace thing. Okay. Oh, come on. Get through. There you go. Nice. Let's try this move. Oh, it's just like a little, like, death tower, I guess. So his melee damage is interesting. It's not the best in the world. Right, let's, let's focus on him. And I want to charge up. Charge it. All the way to the tippity top. And can he go another phase? No, that's it. Release it. Oh, okay, so that's identical to Evans. Right, sure. So it's certainly class-based, isn't it? Rather than, like, individuals-based. So they're basically the same. Fair play. Uh, let's try out one of these buffed up, though. Oh. It was just more of the same, but not as good. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I deserve to get a hit there, to be honest. Let's see what we got. I can probably get in a hit or two more. There you go. Nice. And back it up, back it up, back it up. Let me use a saw away on him real quick. There you go, good job. Right. Oh, he's down. Oh, I wanted to try the other abilities all zingy zingied. Nah, you know what? There you go. We're giving him a try. Um, not overly impressed. I'll be honest, I quite enjoy being the one that's the spellcaster of the group. And then just leaving Tarni and Roland to do like a mixture of range and close up. So I don't know if I'm going to use him anymore. Let me know in the comment section below. What loadout do you guys have if you're at this point in the game? There might be more allies in the future. I get the vibe that we've got room for maybe like one more. Let's have a look. Yeah, I reckon we've got one more ally we're going to pick up on uh, during this story. Maybe from the kingdom before Ding Dong Dell. Um, what was it called again? Something like Leaf something. But other than that, have an awesome one, and I will see you all later. Ta-ra.